for nine years, but this is one of the worst humanitarian crises so far. There was a time when fighting seemed to be going on everywhere, but now it's almost all happening in Idlib. This is where President Assad's army is fighting Turkish-backed rebels and the last of his die-hard jihadi opponents. Since April last year, government troops have been pushing into the province with the help of Iranian-backed militias and Russian airstrikes. And they're pushing hundreds of thousands of desperate civilians in front of them. The roads are clogged with desperate convoys, people fleeing, shelling and airstrikes. For President Assad, Idlib is unfinished business. The trouble is, it's crammed with displaced people. Before the war, Idlib was home to around a million and a half. Over time, that number has grown to more than three million. People have fled here from all over Syria, from Aleppo, from Hama and Homs, and even from the capital, Damascus. The bombs are just following these people and uh, you know it's getting more and more difficult for these people because um, it's not just the bombs, but it's the cold weather, uh, it's the rains. Uh, some of them are sleeping in their vehicles at night. It's really a dire situation. More than a million people are living in one vast camp on the Turkish border, but others are scattered throughout the province, often out in the open. There was a time when Syrians could simply escape across the border into Turkey, but that border is closed. Turkey is already home to around three and a half million Syrian refugees. It doesn't want any more. So as the war closes in, people simply have nowhere else to go. Slowly but surely, they're converging on the Turkish border. And remember, this war is nine years old. The world has been wrestling with the Syrian conflict for almost a decade. Idlib may represent the end game, but it's a long, agonizing final act.